All right, so here we go then. Second fixture of the World Cup, Egypt versus Uruguay. I'm Uruguay. So a decent first game earlier on this evening. Uh, five 0 thrashing really. <laughs> uh, Russia handed out to Saudi Arabia. Uh, some good goals, some decent performances. Um, I'm sure it certainly sets Russia up nicely actually, to be honest with you, because both these two teams are playing now, who they face next. While I don't think they might get the result against Uruguay, I think they could certainly capable of getting something off at Egypt. Although of course it depends how this particular picture plays out tomorrow as well. National anthem moment come up here. And reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. This is a setup that offers easier flexibility whether you want to attack and or defend. Mm. Four four two for myself. <coughs> Apologies for the cough folks. Can I a wee bit of a cough at all? So let's get underway. Still struggling at the moment. Patch the game overnight. Something feels different. I'm still trying to get my put my finger on exactly what it is. Mohamed Salah. Here comes Salah. Great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Caceres. I'm going to be tight marking number on uh, Salah for this match. Cavani. Cavani dropping deeper with the false nine instruction. So what now? And it's Cavani. Got a shot away. Oof. Effort from him there. Catch them out. Actually, looking forward to this match tomorrow. Um, with all the best in the world, I don't think uh, the first game of the this World Cup was littered with world-class players. We're certainly getting four tomorrow in the shape of, uh, well, both forwards, Uruguay forwards, Cavani and Suarez. Salah for Egypt, certainly, and also Diego Godin of Atletico Madrid, who is an outstanding defender. We're getting on a wee bit, I think. Luis Suarez. Carlos Sanchez, great move. Oh, and a lovely finish. A lovely finish by Laxal. He was really quick to react to the initial and back heel. Great work there by Sanchez. Gets the cross in. Lovely header from Cavani. And look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We see a goal like that tomorrow, we'll be raving about it as well. Boom! <laughs> Uruguay take 
Of course, it's all about uh, Portugal and Spain tomorrow. Uh, that'll be a really interesting oh, game on account of the fact, obviously, that uh, oh, Spain sacked Lopetegui. We're 40 hours before oh, the fixture boy. itself. Um, there's a lot being said of it. I, I do tend to kind of watch and uh, read and you know, listen to a lot of, sort of football media. Um, people very kind of conflicted as to whether it was the right decision or not. I think the Federation, Spanish Football Federation, I think a lot of us to do, he signed a contract and then he got into these negotiations and essentially agreed with Real Madrid and then basically told them last, says, oh, by the way, I'm going to Real Madrid, but I can still manage these and stuff. And I think they were like, you know, that's not happening. Luis Suarez. Uh, apparently, you know, Hier would be he's part of the setup the for some time. So, and he score! And the ball's come loose. I tell you what, like Salter's played quite well in this opening spell. Oof. And the shot! Oh. <laughs> didn't come off, but an audacious effort. We're doing a beautiful goal. Suarez certainly showed brilliant imagination there to take on such a just high tower of the keys and then the cross in and uh, just fluff the finish. Egypt definitely under the pressure, under the cosh here. Well, and it's Salah. To the flank. Oh, I'll have to turn this channel well. That's a good cross. Oof. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. Big chance! Oof, I thought I was in. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. I'm just trying to identify what's changed, if indeed anything, since this patch, but I see I'm having more struggles anyway, just in my play. Too used to my my club squads, that's a problem. I'm indeed online play. Playing against the AI is a different kettle of fish. It's certainly not necessarily harder, but it's just, it's got its own style it demands. Going for goal! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which Terrible can football. open up many possibilities. Cavani, dashing Cavani. forward at pace. It can forward. play as that false nine quite really effectively, to be fair. Right Now a chance to break. And it's Lax out again. Oof. Aimed low and direct. Wilson out to Sobe. Wilson again. Sobe, they're not in about, alright. Uruguay are leading. Looking either flank. Well, I'm good in. Caceres. Cavani. Caught there. Cavani again. Exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And he coming very deep. I'm not sure how keen I am on that. It is good for it. Oh, lovely goal. He scores. And it's 2 and 0. Two goal cushion, and it's looking Sanchez safe. this time. Who has a flying machine? Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Cavani just like the orchestrator here pulling all the strings. Lovely little exchange. Perfectly placed finish. So 
why he's just sitting out for him, catches it on the bounce. without reply it's 2-0 well at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised but now that it's gone to two mindsets are affected a lot more winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other there's the end of the first half so half time for the first 45 minutes well, fairly enjoyable things clicking a wee bit more themselves into a, a very good position so why did her from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength you're required just gonna go straight into it again oh, can't help myself <laughs> so as you can see the midfield's right up for it Maxi Pereira also right up for it uh, and to be honest Egypt have got their work cut out. Here we go again then. I'm just going to disengage that false nine instruction. Caceres. Bent cut over running it there. It's getting cocky. Played out to the right. Mohamed Salah. Yeah. Mohamed Salah. What a block. Like oh, Salah's been superb in this match. By himself. Mohamed Salah just backs himself every time. Give him a challenge, and he'll rise to it. Tries a through ball, looking to Ooh, shoot. Ooh, Salah, that was it. That was the chance. To miss that. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be. You no really should have been stuck in that one, are we? Silva in for the out of form Muslera. Hey, come on, Cavani. He's going to sit in the off a little bit now. Oh. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Mm -hmm. Salah, Salah's frustration getting in the better room goes in the book. Just going to go long with this one. Big punt up to. Right with my passing game right now. Oof, he's held him off easily. Who's gonna get there? It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in. Try to do some silly things here with the dribble. Just try to work out. can get in behind. So, this is some lovely football here from Uruguay. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a lovely goal. Beautiful. And somewhat inevitably, Suarez gets on that score sheet. I like that kit. I do like that Uruguay top. Look at this. Oh, silk, smooth as silk, Just cut right through them, 
There's Cassie Race actually making a 40 up from left back. Good overlapping. Rubbish celebration. Hate golf. Uruguay take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Now yeah, that. Plays it out to the wing. Looks to clip it forward. Hussein. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Sloppy there, though. The corner there with Sarris. But in the end, it's fruitless. And it's Caceres. A great ball. It's Luis Suarez. Oh. Trying to hold for that too long there. The further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Dinks one in. The ball needed to be better there. That's a wasted chance. Trevan. Suarez. Ah. Oh. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Some good stuff though in this match from me. Not convinced this would be the score line tomorrow though. Oh. Has a swing at it. One back. Mohen, Mohen, Mohen. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper, and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end. Try to keeper there. He brought it down nicely enough. And controlled with the left, dispatched with the right. Should prove nothing but consolation. Checks on the touchline. I'm going to make a sub as well. It's time. I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. It brings to anyone. I wonder if Cassidy should be replaced. I'm going to do that. Christian Rodriguez can come on, wax out. He's played a stormer at left midfield to be fair, and they can come in at left back if need be, so we'll do that. Just try and close this one out. Egypt. A fighting chance back in with a shout. Mm, dear, cocky battles to win it back. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's got away. And the finish. Ooh. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. No substitute there, we are here for the goal. And it's 
hoisted clear. Stuani, good energy in defence as well. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to towering header. Oh, oh, oh. oh he couldn't get the direction he needed. Good counter. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Max out again with a cross. Makes me wish I kind of got him for my clubs now. Very handy. Oof. Sloppy here. Luis Suarez. Saudi Arabia levels of defending. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. More than happy to take the muscular approach. I should do it. And indeed there it is, 3-1 Uruguay. A very competent performance. Without doubt they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Your final thoughts, Jim? Uruguay simply... Enjoyable we match that, actually. ...from start to finish, and this became as predictable... Some nice play, some nice goals. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside Hopefully me. Hopefully we'll the same the tomorrow time. in the, the match itself. Here's the first from Laxalt. Good header there from Cavani. Decent save, but cheeky finish. Suarez with this effort. Just powered it up too early and just get the connection all wrong. But I like that, I like those kind of short, proper short error. I was saying that would have been a beautiful goal if you stuck that one away in fairness. Side, again, decent takedown. Stuff I'm not doing too well myself at the moment, I need to work on that. out again effort well charged down and this was a lovely goal look at that Ooh, boom bottom corner lovely goal and Salah with his you know a dusk in might have made it a little bit more nervy he blew it. Hussein again with another effort on goal. Salva's taking care of that okay. And he got himself in the book as well, Salah. Frustrating day for him. And that's goal. Beautiful goal. Who else but Luis Suarez? Maybe consolation here. There, the substitute comes on and has another thump at it. An enjoyable match, fairly action packed compared to the the first match that I uploaded. Very satisfying. Just a wee look at the stats here.
kind of even pretty much throughout goal count obviously but yep thoroughly enjoyable game so that is a uh, fixture two of the world cup done get your money on it 3-1 uruguay and i will upload morocco versus iran next see you later